Installing a rain garden takes a little bit of work, but it's really not that hard. First and foremost, call Digger's Hotline. Make sure to stay away from any gas lines and electrical lines. If you call your city or village, they'll come out and mark your lateral, which is what you see right here. The lateral is a sewer pipe that you own. It carries the water from inside of your home to the sewer pipe in the street. You'll want to place your rain garden as far away from your lateral as possible, but in a small yard, you'll probably only get about two or three feet away. Plant the garden at least six to 10 feet away from your foundation to keep water out of your basement. Most people place their rain garden near a downspout to collect water coming from their roof. So once you know where your rain garden can go, it's time to mark it off and start digging. You want to make sure to dig your rain garden about five or six inches down, making sure to pay attention to the slope of your yard, making the low end a little bit deeper. Now that we've completed digging the garden, what you'll notice is that we saved some of that topsoil and put a berm on the low end of the garden, sloping away from the house. What we did here was we disconnected the downspout, dug a trench, and put the drain right into the rain garden. We put rocks at the end of the downspout to slow the flow when it comes into the rain garden. All right, so the next step, you want to take your plants and lay them out in your garden exactly where you want them. Well, the garden's in now. The plants look great. They'll look even better next year when they fill in. And just remember that building a rain garden is an excellent way to be a part of the solution to help reduce basement backups and water pollution. Mm -hmm.